everybody, and in this video, we're gonna be going through every single sniper in the game that can now res snipe or revive snipe, whatever you personally say. I say res snipe. If you say revive snipe, I will not use that against you. <laughs> but basically, if you did not know, when the April update came, they made some changes to the overshield that you get for both your buddy who you revive and yourself when you revive them. You get less of an overshield, you get less armor, less protection when you revive them than you did before. So what this did is it opened up everything. It basically made it to where almost every single sniper in the game can revive snipe. So now when you're picking between do I want to use this sniper or this sniper, instead of just only being confined to the snipers that have strong enough impact to actually res snipe, you can essentially pick whichever one you want just because you like it. Maybe it has a faster equip speed. Maybe it has a faster reload speed, more aim assist. You can pick on various different stats, not just, oh, can it res snipe, which was just like two, two snipers in the game before they made this change. And of course they added more snipers into the game too. So you can use whatever the hell you want. So let's go ahead and jump into those snipers that can actually res snipe, that you can get your hands on from vendors, you can get exotic engrams, you can get it from packages. Let's jump into it. Firstly, I will say that Thousand Yards can, of course, res snipe. Longbows can, LDRs can. I'm not necessarily going to be going over them specifically because I think most people know that they can, but we're going to be going over all of the ones that a lot of people question if they can res snipe because I get asked this question a lot. It's like the most frequently asked question as to what can res snipe. So I think we all know the archetype before that could res snipe. So we're going to be going through all the other archetypes that can now res snipe if that that makes sense. So kicking our list off is the Antinami XV1, which is the new Monarchy Sniper, and that comes in at 22 impact. Next up, we have the Aofi Sniper, <laughs> again, coming in at 22 impact. And you get this from the Arms Day Order thingy my Bobby jigs. Next up, we have a lot of people's favorite snipers, the Defiance of Yasmin, coming in again at 22 impact. Next up, we have the Dead Orbit Sniper called Extra Solar, and that comes in at 16 impact. So that's a totally different archetype of sniper that was definitely not able to rest night before. Next up we have the Trials of Osiris sniper called the Glass Promontory coming in at 16 impact. Then we have Hereafter which is an exotic sniper rifle that blinds the enemies around the person that you hit in the head and that's coming in at 25 impact. Next up, we have No Land Beyond, which should have been able to rest snipe from the beginning because it's an exotic sniper. Hello. But this is coming in at 31 impact. Next up, we have Patience in Time, a just returning year one weapon, coming in at 22 impact. And lastly, we have the Tao Hua Yun, which is the Crucible sniper, coming in at 16 impact. Now, the ones that a lot of people ask, like, can this rest snipe, is Wei Lauren's. Wei Lauren's cannot res snipe. The stat that you're going to be looking for in terms of impact to figure out if your sniper can res snipe is it has to be at 16 impact or over. So all of these are 16 or over. They usually either fall into a category of 16 impact, 22 impact, or 31 impact. Of course there are some that are in like the middle grounds, but for the most part that's kind of how it works. So I've covered a good amount of them in this video. I was going through lists of snipers and I was like, Literally everything can res snipe. This video would have been easier being like which snipers cannot res snipe because it would be like two instead of the entire sniper population. <laughs> but I hope this did help you guys out when it comes to picking your sniper rifle. If it is 16 impact or higher, you will be able to rest snipe. The way that you can figure that out is, well, if you're in game, you can compare it to your thousand yard and kind of compare the impacts and see what that's like. But the easiest way is also to head over to Planet Destiny's website and just type in the name. They have a really awesome page there where they show the reload speed, the impact, the aim assist, all that stuff. So you can go and pick your sniper rifles from whatever you want. Pick whatever feels good. You don't have to just use thousand yards anymore. Yay! <laughs> so I hope you guys found this video helpful and I'll speak to you awesome people later. Bye.